It's a night that features first time ever matches, five championship bouts, and scores to be settled. Welcome to Vancouver, Canada. Welcome to Vengeance. Wait a minute, Cody heading to the outside. Remember, they're all three of those tables are at ringside. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Table explosion at ringside. Kick to the gut, and I think we know what's coming. This time, she hits the hip attack. She missed it earlier. Oh, wait a minute. A counter by Liv. Look at Liv Morgan go. Face breaker number two. You gotta be kidding me. She's gonna upset the champion. She is gonna do it. No, Oscar got the shoulder up again. Braun Breaker, his biggest match of his career, his very first opportunity at Drew McIntyre. McIntyre looking for his pound of flesh, and we are underway. McIntyre usually has the strength advantage. I don't know if it's the same tonight, but McIntyre successfully goes to the air on the challenger. Breaker that he was not ready for the spotlight, that he was not ready for the main event, and Drew is looking to teach this young man a lesson. He won't soon forget a Claymore kick. This time, it nails flush. It is main event time at the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. WWE Vengeance, we are live for your main event. The Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar versus the original bro Matt Riddle and the WWE Championship is on the line. Riddle went for a knee, missed immediately and Lesnar is looking to take this thing to Sue Plex City. Matt Riddle's wheels are spinning. Brock Lesnar hoisted in the air. Oh my God! Tombstone pile driver through the outs table. And now Lesnar with Riddle in the air. The F5 for the Beast Incarnate. We're going to have a new WWE Champion. Win, loser, draw. We are going to be talking about this main event for a long time. In the case of Matt Riddle, who is hanging in there and giving the Beast the fight of his life and vice versa. Lesnar to his feet, wait a minute, Riddle dead center of the ring for a third time in the match, hits the broke Derek. Lesnar may be out. We just witnessed an absolute human car wreck inside of that ring, but even through everything the Beast Incarnate had to give, Matt Riddle lives to fight another day as your reigning, defending WWE Champion. The original bro wins again in Vancouver. Just 24 hours after a successful WWE Championship defense, the original bro Matt Riddle is back in action in a massive tag team main event with two men who have been a thorn in his side for weeks. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn take on the WWE Champion Matt Riddle and a tag team partner of his choosing live right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Vancouver just 24 hours ago, for vengeance was so nice we had to come back twice. We're live for Raw in the Rogers Arena. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making our way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. We are kicking things off hot and heavy this week with a little Canadian street fight between the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, and the woman who ambushed her in the backstage area a couple of weeks ago on Raw, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day. This beatdown, of course, was coming after Natalia tapped out Rhea Ripley one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the ring. Rhea would win the rematch, so tonight is the rubber match, but things have been taken to a new level. Canadian street fight right here tonight in Vancouver. No count outs, no disqualifications, pinfall or submission, the only way we're getting a decision between the Queen of Hearts, Natalia, and the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. And after Liv Morgan knocked off Asuka last night for the WWE Women's Championship, all the women going to be looking to climb the ladder and become future contenders for the Women's Champion of the World. And representing the Judgment Day 
from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley locked, laser focused on Natalia tonight. Canadian street fight, and of course, Natalia is going to have that home field advantage. The Hart family made Canadian wrestling famous. Natalia back home in her country tonight. And definitely has the home field advantage over the nightmare Rhea Ripley. But Rhea Ripley, a scary and intim intimidating woman, not one to back down from any challenge, willing to meet Natalia with her own rules here tonight in Vancouver. Wait a minute, what the hell? Ke Kevin Owens, th that's Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, who, who lost to Matt Riddle 24 hours ago in the WWE Championship match, is getting ambushed backstage by the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Remember all the history between these few men the last number of weeks. Kevin Owens dropping Brock Lesnar with a stunner right on the concrete. I don't know if Kevin Owens is trying to take out Brock to make sure that he's not... Matt Riddle's mystery partner tonight, or what have you, but Owens with a power bomb through the table to the concrete depths of hell. Brock Lesnar, just 24 hours after he was defeated by Matt Riddle, has once again been laid to waste by the prize fighter Kevin Owens. Oh my goodness, I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. It's just a, a chaotic start to Monday Night Raw as we are set for your opening matchup between Natalia and Rhea Ripley, Canadian street fight. But ladies and gentlemen, what a story that has just developed in the backstage area. All the issues over the last number of weeks, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn intertwining themselves with Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle in the lead up to their WWE Championship match, which remember all stemmed from Brock Lesnar eliminating Kevin Owens back in April at Backlash in the number one contenders match. Nonetheless, with that tag team main event coming up later tonight, it looks like Kevin Owens was trying to take Brock Lesnar out of the equation. Matt Riddle gets to choose his tag team partner tonight. Well, we certainly know it's not going to be one man, and that's the man he defeated in this very building, the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Absolute anarchy kicking us off on Monday Night Raw, as quite frankly it's been for weeks here on the Red Brand. We got to focus in because we got this big-time women's division match kicking things off. Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada, already rocking for this hellacious start to the red brand. Natalia, Rhea Ripley, the rubber match between these two women over the last number of weeks. And there's absolutely anything goes. No count outs, no disqualifications, no holds barred. As we mentioned, Natalia definitely has got the home field advantage tonight in the north here in Canada. But Rhea Ripley, as tough as they come, sometimes as dominating as can be. But Natalia to take the fight to the nightmare. We had dropped Natalia with that steel chair in the backstage area of a number of weeks ago, and the Queen of Hearts has not forgotten. We are getting the shoulder up there, and as we mentioned just 24 hours ago at Vengeance, quite possibly the women's wrestling match of the year between the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and now the new WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. Asuka, who has been the champion for the better part of the last year here in WWE, was dethroned by her number one contender, the woman who qualified in an eight-woman battle royal a couple of weeks ago here on Raw, Liv Morgan. Liv now atop the women's division here in WWE as the champion, and Rhea Ripley looking to make sure not only does she take care of Natalia tonight, but she climbs the ladder and possibly becoming a future number one contender for Liv Morgan in the gold. Remember, these two women were both involved in that eight woman over the top row battle royal a couple of weeks ago. And speaking of the such, Rhea Ripley sending Natalia over the top rope and down to the floor. No count outs, no disqualifications. This match is free to go anywhere in Vancouver. Oh no, Rhea Ripley taking the street fight literally as she's got a stop sign and uses it on the Queen of Hearts. Look at the bend in that metal already. Natalia, sense of urgency out of the Queen of Hearts. She felt the steel chair a couple of weeks ago. She's feeling that metal sign. She does not want to feel any more from the nightmare tonight. Natalia is out for payback and retribution. The woman who knocked her out cold a couple of weeks ago. And of course, Rhea Ripley, as we mentioned, winning the second bout in this storied rivalry so far a couple of weeks ago on Raw as well. Rhea Ripley back underneath the ring. 
And Rhea, we are in the north and she's got a hockey stick. The nightmare Rhea Ripley said, you want a street fight? I'll give you a hockey fight. And Natalia is on her tail, but Rhea Ripley is in firm control of this street fight right now. Natalia, all kinds of dazed, all kinds of confused. Oh, well, wait a minute. Don't count out the queen of hearts as she pulls Rhea Ripley under the bottom rope here. And Natalia's got to stay on the offense as Rhea's just trying to get her wits about her and out goes after Natalia. Chaotic start to Monday Night Raw. We got this Canadian street fight going on. And what about what happened moments ago with Kevin Owens ambushing the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar in the backstage area, putting him through a table. And that stunner, of course, moments prior on the concrete. It's 24 hours after Vengeance and Monday Night Raw is not skipping a beat. Massive main event to come. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn taking on the WWE Champion Matt Riddle and a tag team partner of his choosing. Natalia sending Rhea back into the ring. Rhea trying to get back into this fight. Natalia having none of it. There's a counter by the Nightmare. Rhea Ripley ever since aligning herself with Damian Priest and Finn Balor, collectively known as the Judgment Day. All three of them have been pretty dominant here on the red brand. Of course, Finn and Damian Priest coming up short last night alongside Seth Rollins in that big six-man tag team matchup against the Brawling Brutes, which was quite possibly one of the most exciting six-person tags we have ever seen here in WWE. Nonetheless, Rhea Ripley fighting on behalf of the Judgment Day tonight. Natalia not really has an answer for Rhea right now. I mean, Natalia's best idea to try to utilize the stipulation just as Rhea Ripley continues to do in this matchup underneath the ring, and she's breaking out the wood. We have seen plenty of those used in the last 24 hours. Remember Austin Theory and Cody Rhodes, the two SmackDown superstars, battling in that 30-minute Ironman match last night. Using a collective four or five tables, whatever it was. And hell, already tonight with that backstage assault, Kevin Owens putting Brock Lesnar through the wood. Rhea Ripley doing her homework. Right now, Natalia's just trying to stretch her out at ringside, do some damage to the Nightmare, and a counter by Rhea. Roll continues on the outskirts of the ring. Rhea Ripley. For the most part, I would say, has been in control of this matchup. Natalia is really fighting from underneath. But we know Natalia can get the job done. She tapped out Rhea to the sharpshooter a couple of weeks ago here on the red brand. And she's looking to do the same tonight. But look at the power right now of Natalia to muscle up the bigger, stronger competitor in Rhea Ripley and drop her with that delayed suplex on the outside of the ring. Natalia's got to get this fight. I'd say back of the ring as she's doing. And now Natalia's looking underneath the ring. And Natalia has got the same steel chair that Rhea bashed over her skull a couple of weeks ago. Natalia put it in a precarious situation in the corner. But Natalia sees an opportunity. And the Queen of Hearts looking to tap out Rhea Ripley for a second time. Sharpshooter locked in on the nightmare. Rhea Ripley has felt this pain before. She has given up to this pain before. Will she survive? Trying to muscle out of it, and this time she does. Rhea Ripley survives Natalia's best hold. Oh, wait a minute. Natalia gets sent head first right into that steel chair that she set up in the corner. And now Rhea is swinging that hockey stick. The hockey fight continues here in Vancouver, Canada. British Columbia has been an amazing crowd the last 24 hours. Last night at Vengeance, continuing on so far tonight on Raw. It's going to be a great night of action here on the Raw after Vengeance. We have set up that table in the ring, but I think Natalia is looking to go eye for an eye to the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Here we go. Suplex through the wood. Rhea's own table getting used against her. And Natalia sees an opportunity for victory here. But Rhea gets the shoulder up in the last second. Natalia almost had her. Using Rhea's own idea against her. Suplex through the table. But the nightmare lives on another moment. Rhea trying to get back into this fight as she sends Natalia over the top rope. And a deep fall down to the floor. And Nightmare Rhea Ripley survives the table, survives the sharpshooter, 
proving that she is one of the toughest in WWE's women's division today. Natalia just trying to get back into this fight. As we mentioned earlier, still seems to be the case. Fighting from underneath in this matchup is the Queen of Hearts, even with the home field advantage. Rhea breaking out another table here. Of course, that first one didn't go the way she liked. Looks like she's trying to make up for it. Bashing Natalia with the wood. Now let's see what the Nightmare Rhea Ripley has got in mind. And she delivers that basement drop kick to the side of the skull. These two women are fighting tooth and nail right now. And as we mentioned again, a matchup that could possibly be raising your stock in the women's division for a chance at a future opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship now held by Liv Morgan. Nice German suplex, able to pop the hips real quick was, was Natalia, but Rhea also real quick with a drop toe hold. Natalia is trying to swing, is trying to get back into this match, but Rhea is all over her here, as she has been for the majority of this matchup, even though Natalia has shown signs of life. Rhea sees the light at the end of the tunnel, and she's going to keep swinging on Natalia until Natalia has no choice but to give up. The Queen of Hearts has got that hockey stick in hand, trying to use it on Rhea, but Rhea's got something else in mind. And Natalia's just eating that stick over and over again. And Natalia, that time, able to block it. Another stick in the hands. Oh, wait a minute. The Queen of Hearts getting fired up here. Rhea's got to use the turnbuckles just to get to her feet. And Natalia has got this crowd behind her here in Vancouver. Rhea Ripley muscling up the Queen of Hearts. Oh, wait a minute here. Rhea's got her eyes on that table. Look at the strength out of the nightmare. Suplex through the wood. Rhea Ripley wanted the table earlier. It got used against her, but that time it pays her dividends, and Natalia's on the run, and now is on the fall. The tides of this matchup have certainly been in the favor of Rhea Ripley. And after that suplex through the table, Rhea may be closing in on victory here tonight in Vancouver. Rhea's got her eyes locked on the Queen of Hearts. There's a counter by Natalia. She ain't gonna stop fighting. Going for that German again. Able to get Rhea Ripley down, but can she capitalize this time? Going back to the well with that hockey stick, trying to use it on Rhea Ripley. Hasn't really worked out that, that time. Cracks her over the skull. A couple of more shots. Rhea counters. And one to the rib cage of the Queen of Hearts, Natalia. Now it's Rhea Ripley with her own German suplex. The release with it. And Natalia is down and out. And now the Nightmare's got that cold-hearted stare on the Queen of Hearts. And could be looking for the rip tide. Into the cover. And that'll do it. Natalia was in the home field advantage for this Canadian street fight. But this issue has been settled, and the Nightmare Rhea Ripley gets her way. Here's your winner, Rhea Ripley. Big time victory for Rhea Ripley to kick us off on Raw. Are we looking at a future number one contender for Liv Morgan's WWE Women's Championship of the World? Ladies and gentlemen, coming up on Sunday night, June the 18th, we are heading to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the WWE's 2023 King of the Ring. Now the semifinals and finals of the King of the Ring tournament will take place on the night of that event, but the first round and quarterfinals will kick off next week on Raw and SmackDown. The 16-man bracket will be revealed later this evening eight superstars from each brand, and not only will the crown of the king be at stake, but a championship opportunity at SummerSlam this August hangs in the balance. King of the Ring is going to be an epic event, but the breaking news continues because it's going to be a huge week here in WWE. Prior to our trip to Philadelphia, we are heading back to New York City, Madison Square Garden for Raw Homecoming, live Monday night, June the 12th. And then just a few days later, it is Super Smackdown Live from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. on Friday night, June the 16th. It will be our biggest week in Universe Mode history. Three live premiere events coming your way next month, 
all culminating at the King of the Ring. Absolutely massive news, the King of the Ring, June the 18th, earlier in the week, Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden, and Super Smackdown Live from Washington, D.C. Cannot wait to get to the month of June, but we gotta focus in on the action right here tonight on Monday Night Raw on the Rogers Arena, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits set for one-on-one -on -one action against, as advertised last week, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP, said he was coming to Raw to introduce his newest client to the world, and that person, whoever it's gonna be, is set for one-on-one -on -one action right here tonight. Angelo Dawkins is going to be a interesting task, not knowing who you're about to stand across the ring with, but he will find out just as we all will right now. And his opponent, the superstar from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo. Well, this is certainly interesting. MVP introducing his newest client here on Raw, the former NXT North American Champion, as well as former NXT World Champion, the superstar himself. He is him, Carmelo Hayes. This young man has got a load of athleticism, a load of talent, Promises to be a future breakout star here in the WWE. Whether you like his little bit of an attitude or not remains to be seen, but Carmelo Hayes with the guidance of MVP, a former champion in his own right in his corner. This very well may be a dangerous duo here on Monday Night Raw. Carmelo Hayes set to make his Raw debut here tonight in the North, but he's got his hands full. Take nothing away. From the heavyweight of the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins. The Street Profits have been fired up as of late. Unsettled issues in their mind with the Judgment Day. Have unfortunately come up short against Finn Balor, Damian Priest on numerous occasions in singles and tag team matches. So Angelo Dawkins with a chance to take out some of that aggression tonight against the newcomer to Raw, Carmelo Hayes. And Dawkins looking good so far. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, no stranger to holding gold down in NXT. Grand Slam champions in WWE. I'm sure they would love to do it all over again here on the red brand, but right now Dawkins has got to focus in on the task at hand, and that's MVP's newest client from NXT, officially a part of the red brand, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes has got a load of talent, but so does Angelo Dawkins. A lot of people have always speculated that Montez Ford is going to be a singles breakout star of the Street Profits one day, but Angelo Dawkins quite possibly could as well. Especially with a victory over Carmelo Hayes tonight, certainly could put some eyes on not only the Street Profits, but Dawkins as an individual. Dawkins has been all over MVP's newest client, but there's the superstar himself, Carmelo Hayes, getting back into this matchup. Hanging up Dawkins on the top rope, falls over a simple yet effective clothesline. And a pump kick there, and Dawkins may have his lights turned off. MVP, I'm sure, has been scouting ever since he was fired by Bobby Lashley back in January as to who he was going to try to bring to the main event all over again. And the double knees to the face. Dawkins may be seeing stars. Dawkins with a kick out there, but great agility, great maneuver by Carmelo Hayes. MVP seeing stars and Carmelo Hayes seeing big money in this young man. See if he's got what it takes to get the job done. Night one here on Monday Night Raw. Oh, wait a minute. Slingshot. DDT on the apron. And if Dawkins wasn't knocked out before, he certainly may be now. Carmelo Hayes has really turned the tides in this matchup in just a matter of a couple of maneuvers. Dawkins trying to get back into this, but Hayes is having none of it. Off that slingshot DDT, and here comes Dawkins. Sending things back inside the squared circle. Angelo Dawkins not looking to take another loss here on behalf of the Street Profits tonight. Trying to bring some good mojo back to himself and Montez Ford. Dawkins trying to go to the middle rope. Carmelo had it scouted there in another clothesline. Montel Vontavious Porter's got to love what he sees out of his newest acquisition, if you will. Carmelo Hayes. 
And we mentioned it as he was walking down to the ring. This young man's got a load of promise. Tons of agility, tons of talent. And there's going to be a future star here in the WWE if he can keep his head on his shoulders and certainly get the victories. Now going to the top rope, and Hayes with a frog splash on Angelo Dawkins. Into the cover, Dawkins gets the shoulder up, but some serious damage has got to be done. Carmelo's not done. Looking for high risk, high reward for a second time here. Dawkins to his feet, and look at that maneuver! A tilt, almost a tilt to whirl arm drag out of Carmelo Hayes, and now he's heading back to the top rope for a third time. Hits another frog splash, and Angelo Dawkins is writhing in agony right now. Now wait a minute, Dawkins, sense of urgency here, trying to roll up Carmelo Hayes, not just yet. Carmelo almost had. Wait a minute, spine buster. Elevated and Dawkins takes a fall into the cover. That'll do it. Dawkins took a lot of damage to that rib cage off those high risk maneuvers from Carmelo Hayes. Mixed it up with that knee and all the knockout maneuvers, and that is going to do it. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. Certainly an impressive Monday Night Raw debut. For Raw's newest acquisition and MVP's newest client. Another disappointing loss for the Street Profits, but the superstar Carmelo Hayes is here to stay on the red brand. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The action continues tonight in Vancouver with a big time tag team grudge match as Apollo Crews and LA Knight take on the men they've had issues with, Alexander Nakamura plus Xavier Woods versus Madcap Moss. And the results of those contests see Shinsuke Nakamura and Cedric Alexander picking up the W in the tag team affair, and Xavier Woods continuing to build momentum for himself with another singles victory here on Raw against Madcap Moss live from Vancouver. Well, it's been one hell of a night already. We are back inside the Rogers Arena and the gold standard of WWE, Shelton Benjamin, is inside the square circle and he is set for action, but boy, does he have his hands full, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the street champ, Solo Sikoa. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa! Well, Solo Sikoa has only been on Monday Night Raw since the draft in March, but he has already made a serious impact. You remember, he was hired by the man who was formerly a part of the Red Brand, Randy Orton, to ambush and absolutely decimate the WWE Champion Matt Riddle in the lead-up, of course, to Backlash last April. Solo Sikoa and Matt Riddle went one-on-one -on -one a couple of weeks ago. Matt Riddle picked up the victory had to send Sol Sokoa through the announce table and throw basically every move in his arsenal at the street champ to do it. But nonetheless, Solo is back in action at 100% tonight. I got a bad feeling for the former Intercontinental, former United States, former tag team champion, the gold standard Shelton Benjamin. Certainly has a ton of talent inside of the ring though, a veteran of the squared circle, especially compared to Solo Sokoa who's so early in his career but Sokoa coming out swinging off the opening bell. That backhand enough to knock any man out. Yeah, moments ago saw the debut of former NXT North American and NXT World Champion Carmelo Hayes. Now we got a former North American champion in here again in Solo Sokoa. The men from the black and gold brand really starting to take over the main roster here in WWE as Benjamin with that sting of splash in the corner. Take nothing away from Shelton Benjamin, decorated superstar throughout his WWE career, a veteran of the squared circle, world traveled, former Intercontinental, former United States, multiple time tag team champion with various partners here in WWE. 
And Sol Sokoa, as we mentioned, coming off that loss to Matt Riddle a few weeks back. It took Matt Riddle everything in the kitchen sink to keep down Solo. I mean, we said Solo Sokoa is at 100%. We'd assume so because of the rest, but we really won't find out until this matchup progresses. Solo is on the outside. Shelton Benjamin has got his eyes locked on the street champ, and here he comes over the top rope. You want to talk about speed and agility, you're looking at one of the men who helped make it famous on the red brand. Shelton Benjamin taking things to the sky any means necessary to start building some newfound momentum for himself here on Raw. Crucifix cover on Solo, but not just yet. Benjamin wants the victory tonight. It's been some time since he's been in action here on Raw. Got his hands full at Solo Sokoa tonight, but it looks like the vice versa is also at play. As Solo not having an answer for Shelton right now, or going to spoke spoken too soon. Solo taking down Benjamin off that clothesline and a headbutt by that strong Samoan and Solo Sokoa. We're going to continue on the beatdown, continue on the offense. And Benjamin might have thrown his best shot at Solo already. Let's see if Benjamin can get back into this matchup, but Solo, I think, just wants to start picking apart the gold standard. This is really a matchup about momentum tonight on both sides of the spectrum. Solo Sokoa wants to see his hand raised, and there's a stiff belly to belly, and Benjamin's spine's got to be crying off the canvas. Solo with another headbutt. Solo Sokoa is a dangerous human being inside the squared circle, and he is absolutely letting the cannons fire on Shelton Benjamin right now. Super kick, and Benjamin is down and out, and Solo is still not done as he is using his own body as a battering ram off another headbutt. Benjamin just hasn't having to use the ropes just to get to his feet. Solo Sokoa is. Just all over the gold standard. Benjamin, as we already mentioned, has got no answer for the street champ right now. And Solo is almost enjoying this beatdown on Shelton. I think Solo is just trying to send a, a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room in the same breath. Especially after that loss a few weeks ago. And now Solo is heading to the top rope. Oh my, a flying Uso splash from the top. And Shelton Benjamin... Well, that may be all she wrote, but Sokolo looking to put the final nail in the coffin with that Samoan spike. A vicious, absolutely excruciating victory for the street champ of Monday Night Raw. The stars of tomorrow certainly making an impact here tonight in Vancouver, Canada. Here is your winner. Remember the name Sol Sokoa because this man is going to be a force to be reckoned with here on Monday Night Raw. As revealed earlier tonight, the King of the Ring tournament kicks off next week on Raw. There you see these 16 men that are set to compete on behalf of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown on the road to June 18th at King of the Ring. And coming your way next week live from Montreal, Quebec, Cedric Alexander, Tommaso Ciampa kicking off the King of the Ring with this epic first round collision. Also coming your way next week on Raw in another first round matchup, LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura have had their issues. They competed in the tag team bout earlier. Next week is the rubber match between the Defiant Knight and Nakamura in the first round. Also, Ilya Dragunov set, scheduled to defend his Intercontinental Championship against a man who has been building a big time singles victory of momentum as of late. The New Day's Xavier Woods battles the invincible Ilya Dragunov for the gold next week in Montreal. But as for tonight here in Vancouver, it is main event time here on Raw. And a man who has already got his hands full earlier tonight ambushing the Beast Incarnate is in the house. The following is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 478 pounds. Sammy Zane. 
The prize fighter Kevin Owens and the great liberator Sami Zayn have been a thorn in the side of not only the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, but of the WWE champion Matt Riddle. Kevin Owens taking care of Lesnar earlier tonight on Raw. As what well, for what we are being told, as Brock was arriving to the arena, Kevin Owens must have just been lying in wait, awaiting for the beast incarnate. And the prize fighter certainly took his opportunity and struck, stunner to Lesnar, and a power bomb through the table to the concrete. Nonetheless, Matt Riddle is set for this tag team matchup. And the man who defeated Lesnar, retaining his WWE title just 24 hours ago in this very arena, is in need of a tag team partner. Who is standing by with the original bro in your tag team main event? And their opponents, first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the WWE Champion, the original bro. Matt Riddle in his WWE Championship reign continues to make believers out of previous doubters. Through WrestleMania, through Hell in a Cell at Backlash, and through 24 hours ago in that very ring against the Beast Brock Lesnar, Matt Riddle has been dominating as the WWE Champion, raking up the biggest victories of his career, and lives to fight another day as the face of Raw. Wait a minute! Riddle's tag team partner. I thought he was on SmackDown. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time since Backlash last month, the franchise John Cena is in the house. But your eyes do not deceive you. This is not Friday Night SmackDown. This is Monday Night Raw. And I don't know, I don't know the details here, but John Cena is here on the red brand. Cena is, from my knowledge, a member of the SmackDown roster. I don't know if his contract expired, if there's been a trade or what have you, but nonetheless, Cena is here on Raw. And Matt Riddle has got himself a franchise player of a tag team partner. Former 16-time World Heavyweight Champion here in WWE. About to team up with the original bro, the face of Raw, the WWE Champion Matt Riddle for this oh-so-epic tag team man event. Well, business has certainly picked up. We are live, we are ready. Your main event is on. Matt Riddle and Sami Zayn set to kick us off. Absolutely very interesting development especially with what happened earlier tonight between Kevin Owens and Brock Lesnar. Now John Cena is here, and the franchise is in the mix. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens could not have been expecting this. And I'm sure a port, at least a portion of that reason as to why Kevin Owens ambushed Lesnar earlier tonight had to do with the fact that he did not want Lesnar for some reason standing across the ring and teaming up with Riddle tonight. I don't know if that was even gonna be the case. You saw the bad blood between Riddle and Lesnar the last number of weeks. Riddle pinned Brock just 24 hours ago in that very ring. So whether that was gonna be the case or not, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens making sure it was not on the table. Sami taking Riddle out of the ring, and wait a minute here, distracting the referee. Kevin Owens now at ringside, looking to take out the WWE Champion. Oh, and Sami Zayn with a cheap shot on John Cena. The KO and Sami Show trying to divide and conquer in your main event tonight. Riddle now getting taken to the apron again as the great liberator Sami Zayn is all over the WWE Champion. And oh no, Riddle about to be feeling the war path of the KO and Sami regime. You gotta wonder what the condition of Riddle is coming into this matchup. Not only did he compete in that grueling matchup, an absolute core wreck of a fight against Brock Lesnar last night in this very arena at Vengeance, but just last week on Raw, Riddle went one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens. Riddle is in no way, shape, or form gonna be 100% in this tag team matchup. We know the original bro is gonna keep fighting. You're gonna have to stretch him down and Make sure he is not in the building to keep him away from the ring.
Kevin Owens now getting tagged in. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. A little double team with the WWE Champion. Going for the cover there. Riddle gets the shoulder up, but you gotta wonder if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn would love to just focus on Riddle and keep John Cena on the apron throughout this matchup to try to avoid the fresh competitor. Nice kick by Riddle trying to get back into this match. Whipping Kevin, o Kevin Owens off into enemy territory here. And there's the tag to the franchise player, John Cena. And get a load of that double team. A super kick out of John Cena and Riddle. And now Cena with the Michinuku driver on KO. Still an interesting development that we got to find out more details. John Cena is here on Raw. A SmackDown superstar is here on the Red Brain, at least so we think. Again, we don't know if there's been a trade. If John Cena's SmackDown contract has expired, we're going to have to find out in the near future. Meanwhile, Cena and Riddle giving KO and Sammy a taste of their own medicine here. An eye for an eye as Cena drops Sami Zayn on the apron and Kevin Owens is sent back into the ring by Riddle. Springboard by KO and a Tornado DDT takes down the franchise. These are two men who are no strangers to each other. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have had absolute classics in the past. And now Cena trying to steal the victory over KO tonight. Coming from behind and Owens able to pop the shoulder up. It's a bit of a grudge match in the sense for Matt Riddle, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Cena almost the, the bystander in this whole thing, but certainly when asked to be by the side of the WWE Champion tonight, one reason or another, Cena not going to back down from any challenge. You got to wonder how Riddle even found out John Cena was here on Monday Night Raw, what he was even doing here on Raw. Or did Cena contact Riddle? That's a whole other question that hopefully we get the answers to in the future. Tag made to Sami Zayn. Sami and John Cena, they've had a couple of battles inside this very ring. Sami unloading on Cena. Look at that. Taken down, John Cena with that exploder suplex and the great liberator looking to take care of the franchise on the road to Montreal on Monday Night Raw next week. Cena dazed up against the ropes right now. Now what has Sami Zayn got in mind? Looking to hang John Cena up and make sure he is gasping for air on the bottom rope. Another the cover he goes and Cena able to survive another moment. This is John Cena's first time inside the squared circle since April the 16th at Backlash when he competed in a possible match of the year candidate against Drew McIntyre from SmackDown when the World Heavyweight Championship was on the line. Cena back on the red brand tonight for one reason or another and standing by the WWE Champion in this fight with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, two men who have targeted Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar over the last month. Cena trying to get back into this match. Oh, wait a minute here. John, I think we know what's coming. A little you can't see me, a little five. Knuckle, shuffle on Sami Zayn. Cena to the cover. Looking to bring this main event to a close, but Kevin Owens gonna make sure that doesn't happen on his own watch. Riddle trying to take care of the Kevin Owens problem. Meanwhile, Cena's got his eyes locked on Sami Zayn. Going for an attitude adjustment on the great liberator of WWE. And Sami Zayn pops the shoulder up with the kick out. And you got to believe it's early on in the contest. And that's the only reason Zayn was able to survive an attitude adjustment out of the best to ever do it. John Cena almost had this matchup won for himself and Matt Riddle. But nonetheless, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens keep on fighting in your main event tonight on Raw. It has been an epic 24 hours here in the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Canada. And Sami Zayn all over John Cena right now. John Cena might have thrown his best shot. Sami Zayn now got Cena in the corner and a halluva kick. And that may do it. Zayn survived the AA and enough adrenaline to hit the halluva kick. But Matt Riddle now breaking things up. And this matchup once again continues. Sami Zayn to the cover again on Cena. But this time Cena able to get the shoulder up and Riddle in there again. Vancouver, Canada getting a treat in the main event. As they have been the last number of weeks in WWE's Canadian tour, 
Vancouver last night, Vancouver tonight, Winnipeg, Manitoba this Friday for SmackDown, Montreal next week for Raw, Toronto the week or the Friday after that for Friday night SmackDown. An epic tour of the North for the WWE. Sami Zayn brought to his feet by Cena. These two men have been the legal competitors for a couple of minutes now. You gotta wonder if the damage is starting to add up, especially after Cena hit the attitude adjustment. Zayn hit the Haluva kick, yet somehow we are still going in your Raw main event. What a couple of weeks we got coming up here. Next week on Raw in Montreal, the King of the Ring tournament kicking off. Cedric Alexander takes on Tommaso Ciampa in an opening round match, plus LA Knight versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Next week in a King of the Ring first round battle. Cena taken to the outside by Sami Zayn. Wait a minute. Zayn reaching deep down in the bag of tricks. Classic maneuver from Sami Zayn through the ring post, slicing them and dicing them, and the Tornado DDT at ringside. Vancouver, Canada showing their appreciation. As Cena may be out cold and this match may be won for the KO and Sami regime. Sami's going to the top rope. Looking to bring this thing to an absolute screeching halt, but a crash and burn off the splash. Zane trying to keep the offense going, but John Cena, the franchise player, having none of it. Another Michinuku driver. Down, go, down goes Zane. Zane trying to crawl away, trying to get that tag here. There's a tag to the WWE Champion Matt Riddle. A tag made to the prize fighter Kevin Owens. And here we go! Riddle dropping KO with that knee. We are back where we started last week here on Monday Night Raw in that unfinished main event due to the events of Brock Lesnar rearing his head and laying out everybody. Kevin Owens escaping that Kimura attempt by Riddle and there's a big boot by the prize fighter. Now wait a minute here, Kevin Owens is not done. Has got Riddle all kinds of packaged up and swings him out for the slam. And now KO, a stunner on the WWE Champion. The stunner to Riddle. Cena in to break things up this time. Everybody throwing their greatest hits in this matchup. Kevin Owens wanted the stunner. He nailed it flush, but John Cena ensures that this matchup does not hear a bell. Riddle was trying to, at least it looked like, crawl to the corner and tag John Cena back in. Again, as we mentioned earlier, God only knows the condition of Matt Riddle. He's been keeping up with a busy schedule and, of course, got sent to Suplex City last night by Brock Lesnar of Vengeance. Brock Lesnar, I don't even know if he's still in the building after he was taken out earlier tonight by Kevin Owens. Nonetheless, Owens and Sami Zayn continuing their fight on the WWE Champion, sending Riddle for a ride here off the double team. Riddle needs a tag, or at least needs to start swinging to get back into this matchup. WWE Champion is not looking too hot right now. Zane sending him in the corner. Could be looking for a Haluva kick, and he was, but Riddle avoided it. A much needed reversal there out of the champion and his tag team partner. But Sami Zayn, look at this, trying to go for the suplex on Riddle. But Riddle starting to pick up steam. The adrenaline's pumping through the veins of the WWE Champion. Takes out the leg of Sami Zayn, looking to follow it up here with a powerbomb. Riddle starting to get rolling. Oh, wait a minute, taking Kevin Owens off the apron. All's fair in love and war. As all four of these men have been going at it since the opening bell, legal man or not. And now Riddle... He's got his eyes sewn on Sami Zayn and a bro Derek. He needed three of them to defeat Brock Lesnar 24 hours ago, but one does the trick tonight as Riddle and Cena get the victory. Well, that has got to feel good for Matt Riddle after everything Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have thrown at the champion and Lesnar the last number of weeks. And with John Cena standing by his side, what a matchup and what a victory for the champion and his partner. Here are your winners, Matt Riddle and John Cena.
With all the anarchy that's been taking place on Raw, you gotta wonder if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are gonna come back for more, but at least for tonight in Vancouver, the franchise John Cena here on the red brand, and Matt Riddle continues to have one hell of a weekend. Another victory for the WWE Champion. The King of the Ring Tournament kicks off next week in Montreal. Good night, everybody, from Vancouver. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.